just got done with my kundalini yoga practice for today. And I cried. I cried today. I cried. I was moving stuff through my hips and I cried. And so much is coming up for me. I was chanting a lot. And I'm going into kundalini yoga teacher training this weekend. I'm in a nine month long training. And this is our fourth intensive weekend, which is crazy. And there's been so much work in between. I've been really working with my nervous system to like understand where pieces need need to be reconnected right anyway I just thought I'd share this because I'm, I'm processing a lot and I think sometimes we don't think about some things that may have affected us in the ways that they've affected us so I have been um working I okay let's pull it back 16 years ago, I had reconstructive jaw surgery. I had my jaw broken and rubber banded shut for eight weeks. I could only drink liquids for eight weeks. Prior to that, I had two surgeries on the joints themselves. I had the last one though with the jaw broken because the doctors told me essentially I'd need to have surgery every few years to clear out the joints. If anyone struggles or suffers or has TMJ, I had really big troubles with TMJ. <laughs> And my purpose in this lifetime is to speak my truth and imagine like my jaw was clenched. So anyway, I had this surgery and 16 years ago, like we weren't talking about healing the way we are. Like at least we weren't in my family. I mean, my family kind of like still isn't, but I am. Um, I was doing acupuncture at the time. I'd found an acupuncturist that really helped me with the surgery, but there was no like conversation about, Hey, we're going to slice your nerves open and they may or may not heal. There was no conversation about you have 82 meridian points on the roof of your mouth and we're cutting that open and putting some fake bone in there. What the fuck? Like what the actual fuck? What the actual fuck? Like, like these are nerve endings and meridian points that help heal your whole body and boom, slashed, cut open. And I was 24 years old. Like I didn't know any better and I had no idea the effects that it would have on my nervous system. Oh my God, so many people, right, have had the surgery I had and have had other surgeries and organs removed and different things. And we don't even consider what it can do to us in the long term. Like the PTSD, the trauma that it can cause, the pain. So anyway, let's pull it back. (laughs) I get very heated about this. That's why I'm doing this create a calm my nervous system because I've been working really diligently at healing the mental nerve. And I just found out about these 82 meridian points on the roof of your mouth last night. So I'm like really hot on this right now. This week um, in class, we're talking about mantra and sound. So I already do sound healing. I've been a sound healer for about six years now. I'm a Karuna Reiki master. So I chant when I do healing work. um, And I've been doing that for about six years as well, that specific type of Reiki. So I chant and sing a lot. And I know how much it's like helped to heal me. And it helps to heal clients that I train in it as well. But like, I had no idea that there were 82 meridian points on the roof of my mouth. And when you do kundalini yoga specifically, I can speak specifically of kundalini yoga, you place your tongue on the roof of your mouth. Try it. Like, press the tongue on your roof of your mouth. You're activating different parts of you. It's kind of like a computer system. Like the motherboard is in your mouth. The motherboard is in here. And I had it cut open. But again, right? Like I can look at the beauty in this and know that this is my dharma. Like it's here for me to heal this, to like understand it, to explore it, to get into conversation with myself, with others, to let other people know like about my experience in case they've had a similar experience or may have a similar experience. Because like I I asked for this, um, I, it's in Kabbalah, they call it like the tikkun, like um, 
I don't know why that keeps coming up. I should grab like one of my Kabbalah books because that came up yesterday too. Anyway, like this is, I chose this. I chose this lesson in this lifetime. I chose this lesson in this lifetime. Like why? I don't fucking know. Like, damn, it's been hard. It's been uncomfortable. I literally had my mouth rubber band shut for eight weeks. I had to wear braces for a year at 24 years old living in Manhattan. Like that was not the vibe. I was doing event planning and personal assistance for professional athletes at the time. Like not cute. Um, except so cute, like so real, so authentic, so me. But I didn't understand that then. I was just like too jaded. I like thought very different things mattered back then. Like your appearance, like clearly, I mean, I look good, but like it's a whole other level of good. Like I look good because I'm just me and I'm glowing from a yoga practice. Um, I digress. Anyway, these are some things that I'm processing and I just thought I would talk it out loud here and now. I'll probably do a podcast on it, but again, like I'm trying to get to know you guys and I'm trying to let you guys get to know me, like whoever you guys are that are actually listening and want to hear about this. So anyway, if you've had TMJ surgery, and you might want to know more about this. Like, let me know. I I would love to hear from you because there's we are TMJ warriors. And my advice is start to drain your lymph, get a gua sha, open your chest up, drain the lymph nodes. I can do a video on this um, and start moving it. Like my neck had been so swollen. And once I started sound and mantra and chanting and humming and toning and doing the actual like movements with things like gua sha, like my life really, really began to evolve and change that I can understand the depths of what happened so I can understand how to heal myself because we are all our own greatest healers and we have the ability to fuse back together and be whole again. All right, that's my message for you. Have a beautiful afternoon.